Chapter 7 Logical Thinking Through Game Design Creating a computer game is the part of computer programming. How do we program a computer? By giving it a set of instructions. For example, if our game has a jet that files, then we can instruct the computer that if user presses spacebar key on the keyboard, the jet should fire a missile. We can also decide how the game should be won or lost by the user. For example, if our game has an enemy jet, then we can give instructions to the computer that if enemy jet is hit with the missile, then the game will be won by the user. If our jet is hit by the missile, then user will lose the game. Kodu Game Lab is a free game building program from Microsoft. Let us explore Kodu by making a simple shooting game and surprise our friends. Opening Kodu To open Kodu, follow the steps below. Click on Start button. Open Microsoft Research folder. Click on Kodu Game Lab. Same steps are in Windows 7. Kodu screen When Kodu opens, it shows the main menu. To create a new game, select New World option. To load an existing game, select Load World option. On selecting New World option, Kodu Game Editor opens up as shown here. It shows green terrain and a toolbar at the bottom. Green terrain is the world where you will keep your game characters. We can create water world also. Toolbar contains the buttons which you need during your game building and testing. Getting familiar with terrain. Green terrain is the playground for your game characters. To adjust the terrain, you need to select camera tool in the toolbar. It is the third button with an icon of large green glow. Where is the camera? Well, you are right behind the camera. What you see in Kodu is through the camera's eye. In simple words, you are the camera. Moving terrain back, forth and sideways. Simple left click your mouse and move it up, down and sideways slowly and carefully. What did you observe? Yes, terrain moved with mouse. Rotating camera. Simply right click your mouse and move it up, down and sideways slowly and carefully. What did you observe? Yes, camera moved with mouse. Or it seemed terrain moved. It's all the same for now. Adding characters to the world. You can add various characters like saucer, Sputnik, fish, ship, cannon, jet, etc. to the world. Let us add a jet to the world. In the toolbar, click on the object tool. Click anywhere on the green terrain. A pie menu will pop up. Click on the slice containing icons of saucer, fish and cycle. Click on jet. The jet will be added to the world. Follow the steps 2 and 3. To add another jet, this second jet is enemy jet. Carefully and slowly, with the help of mouse, adjust first jet at the edge of terrain towards your side in right corner and the enemy jet at the opposite edge towards left as shown here. Changing the color of the characters. Kodu identifies the characters by their colors. For example, if you have two jets, then you can identify them by giving them colors such as red and blue. When you select a character on the terrain, the color choices appear at the top. Use left and right arrow keys to set the color. The large dot shows the current color selected by you. Let us give red color to the enemy jet at the opposite end. Click on the object tool. Left click on the enemy jet and use arrow keys to select red color. Adjusting characters on the terrain. You can place the characters in the world by dragging them simply with mouse. You can rotate, change height, change size, cut, copy and paste etc. by right clicking on the character. Let us rotate blue jet so that it points towards the user that is green. Click on the object tool. Right click on the blue jet and select rotate option from the pop-up menu. Use left and right arrow keys on the keyboard to rotate the blue jet until it faces the user. Then click cross button to the slider. Game programming. After adding and placing the characters in the world, we need to decide what each object will do and how the game will be won or lost. This is called game plan. Let us plan our game. 
enemy jet or red jet will move around randomly and shoot missiles randomly. R jet, which is blue jet, will move on the press of arrow keys and shoot missiles. If blue jet hits the red enemy jet, the user will win the game. If red enemy jet hits our blue jet, the user will lose the game and game will end. Kodu programs work on the pattern of when something happens, do this. For example, when spacebar is pressed, do shoot missile. Programming red enemy jet. Let red jet always shoot missiles randomly. Click on the object tool. Right click on the red enemy jet. Select program option from the pop-up menu. The program editor for the red jet will open up. You will see two tiles, when and do. Click on the plus sign of when. In the pie menu, select more. In the next pie menu, select always. Click on the plus sign after do. In the pie menu, select shoot. Click on the plus sign after shoot and select missile. Click on the plus sign after missile and select level. If red jet shoots blue jet, the game ends. In row 3, click on the plus sign after when and select more and short hit. Click on the plus sign after short hit and select boats 1 then jet. Click on plus sign after jet and select colors then blue. Click on the plus sign after do and click on game then end. Row 3 of red enemy jet program will look as shown here. Programming the blue jet. Turning the blue jet left. Click on the object tool. Right click on the blue jet. Select program option from the pop-up menu. The program editor for the blue jet will open up. Click on the plus sign of when. In the pie menu, select keyboard, misc, left. Click on the plus sign after do. Click on turn. Click on the plus sign after turn and select left. Row 1 will look like this. Blue jet shoots missile on the pressing spacebar. Go to the object tool and right click on the blue jet. Select program option from the pop-up menu. The program editor for the blue jet will open up. In the program editor, in row 3, click on the plus sign of when. In the pie menu, select keyboard. Click on the plus sign after keyboard and click on misc space. Click on the plus sign after do and select shoot. Click on the plus sign after shoot and select missile. Click on the plus sign after missile and select level. If blue jet hits red jet, the player wins the game. In row 5, click on the plus sign after when and select more short hit. Click on the plus sign after short hit and select boats 1 jet. Click on the plus sign after jet and select colors red. Click on the plus sign after do and click on game plus win. Saving the world. In the toolbar, Click on the Home menu button. In the menu, select Save My World option. Type the file name and click on Save button. Enhancements in the game. Right click on the blue jet and select Change Settings option. A staircase menu will appear. Use up and down arrow keys to browse through it. Using down arrow key, come down to the setting missile reloaded time and using left arrow key, decrease it to 0.5. Now blue jet will shoot missiles faster than earlier. You can decrease friction for smooth turning of the jets. Decrease bounciness to make the jets less jumpy. Increase missile range for farther shots. Set missile speed as desired. Set number of missiles at once, etc.